Case number seven, Gwyneth Paltrow, who's 41. She's an American actress. She described recently what appears to have been a miscarriage of her third child and reveals more details about an unrelated health scare. She almost died from that miscarriage. Well, this event that happened in late spring of 2011, she said, and after what we just read about Jessica Alba, uh, this is, is really a very strange coincidence. She lost control of her right hand. She suffered a blinding pain in her head that was so extreme she thought she was having a stroke. The incident occurred while she was in the garden of her home in North London. She said she underwent a series of tests that revealed she was a mess. She was vitamin D deficient. She had anemia. She had thyroid issues. Her liver was congested. She had hormonal imbalances and a benign tumor on her ovary that had to be removed. And sounds what, like she, she got nuked. It sounds like she got nuked. And what is so strange is she actually wrote in her newsletter about how to avoid radiation in April of 2011. She said she, in her newsletter she had some super helpful advice on protecting yourself from radiation. Among the tips from doctors that she knows was limit exposure, move away from, from an exposure area, have other sources of food and water, drink miso soup, and the most helpful advice of all is just stop thinking so much about it. Worried about the nuclear radiation from the Fukushima reactor meltdowns? Worrying does you no good. It impairs your immune system, tips your brain out of balance, and distracts you from dealing with real life. Worrying is living a what-if life, and thus far we're fine. And it was shortly after this that she had her stroke symptoms. Well, she has... Um problems in her reproductive organs and tissues. She has endocrine system damage. That's what thyroiditis is. And um, it sounds like she has heart or brain problems. So that poor woman has a pretty heavy exposure. I doubt she'll have another child, be able to have another child. But the uh, in May of 2011, uh, two or three months after sh after Fukushima, is when the highest levels of radiation were released. That was the peak, and um, that's exactly when she reported really being sick. Isn't that when she had the miscarriage? I don't know if it ever indicated. It happened sometime within the last two years. She said late spring of 2011, or you, you read something that... Was when she had the stroke-like symptoms. Okay. That's when that, that peak release occurred, and Dr. Chris Busby, who's an international radiation expert, um, and he is also British, he was able to get air filters from cars in Japan, uh, in the Tokyo area uh, to Fukushima area, and he was able to calculate that the concentration of radionuclides in the atmosphere in northern Japan in um, April or May, it would have been about that time, was equivalent to 300 Chernobyls. So it doesn't matter how far you are away. You can't get away from this stuff. It moves around the world and air masses, it's carried by winds and ocean currents, and there's just no way, there's no way to hide. The whole planet is being impacted with this horrible poison. 